to talk about my sexuality, how I knew what my sexuality was, um, how I came out, when I came out, what I consider my sexuality to be now, and how I found out that I was transgender, and when I found out I was transgender, and how I came to terms with it. So, I came out to my mom when I was in high school. I remember sitting in my room in a corner and I was crying. I'm not sure why, but I just associated coming out with negative feedback. So, I sent my mom a text message and I told her, I think I'm a girl. And I was so afraid. So she texted me back, and she was like, I know, I've known your whole life. And I'm like, the nerve. I was low-key, like, kind of sad that she said that, because I'm like, I wanted her to say something. Like, my baby, oh my gosh, I, you know, something, I don't know, something weird. But she's like, yeah, I've known your whole life. I'm like, damn, she knew before me. <laughs> so that's how I came out. And even though I came out, I still didn't believe that I liked girls. I was a, I was a super Christian, going to church every Sunday, and if I could go on Wednesdays, I did. I got to church, they preached the Bible, and how it's such a sin to be gay. Um, even though I was young, I didn't think it was a sin to be gay. I thought that the church had it wrong. I never believed that it was bad to be gay. Because I knew that in my heart I knew that Jesus was real. I believed in God. And I believed that Jesus came down and died on the cross for me. You know, all that all that jazz. But I also knew that Jesus wouldn't make me gay if it was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like That didn't click in my head. So I just believed what I want. That Jesus Love me for who I am because that's who I am. I never thought that I somehow happened to be gay due to some unforeseen circumstances. Never. Flash forward to, um, I stopped going to church, whatever, you know, still believe in God, all that. And I started to deny my sexuality. I thought that I was going to grow up, I was going to marry a pastor, and I was going to have children who believed in the word of God, and all that stuff. And then, flash forward even more to the end of high school, I decided that maybe I'm bisexual, just for the simple fact that I didn't want to be a lesbian, I didn't want to be strictly gay. I at least want it to be halfway normal, normal. So, I went from straight to lesbian to bisexual. Yeah. And in my beginning of college, I thought to myself, I'm not going to come out to the world until I'm in a relationship and I feel safe that way. I have somebody who's on the side of me to support me when I come out. So I got into a relationship, and I came out to everybody else. My friends already knew a little bit, but nobody knew how like, serious I was about liking girls. So I came out in college. My cousins, they were unaware. They were like, I still love you for who you are. That was cool. I loved it. That my cousins still love me. I never felt much shame for liking a girl. Because, you know, it is what it is. And, I don't know, not many people said much about me. My friends joked about it and everything. It's cool. I don't mind that. But, toward the end I'm still in college, by the way, but the end, when I should have been graduated, 
uh, I started to realize more and more that I'm not comfortable in the female body, and I have never been comfortable in the female body. I know I've never been comfortable in the female body because I've never wanted breasts. I've always said how much I hate breasts and I don't need them. And my family members, I'm not going to name, would laugh and they'd be like, well, welcome to being a woman. This is what it's like, you know. And I'm like, I hate it. And they think I'm just being like, you know, typical girl. But, no. I, looking back, I think those are the first signs of me being transgender. Um, yeah. And... As time passed, I knew more and more that I did not want to give birth because I love the idea of giving birth, like it's beautiful and everything, but I can't imagine myself giving birth because I don't consider myself to be pretty, so that's just not for me. But I've always known that I wanted to have kids, not to give birth. Um. So, when I first came out, is when I started to notice that I was uncomfortable being female. And I didn't want to continue wearing skirts. I didn't want to do any of the typical female stuff or, you know, have the ginger roll look, you know, whatever. The person I was in a relationship with, I asked her, would she still love me? Would she still accept me if I were to dress more masculine? And at the time, I didn't consider that a sign of being transgender either. I just thought that was uh, being androgynous. For a while, I considered myself androgynous. And towards like sophomore year of college, I assumed, I think I called myself non-binary, but with she, her pronouns, mostly she, her pronouns, because a lot of people talk about how they hate they, them pronouns. And it hadn't even struck me to use he, him pronouns because being transgender just wasn't an option, I guess. Flash forward to now. I'm in a relationship and I'm happy and the girl I'm with is very supportive. And she didn't care. We got together, and she met me at the stage where I was, like, you know, I would dress androgynously. I dressed feminine one day, and then, you know, more masculine the next. And she accepted me for whichever way I dress, which was pretty cool. And, yeah, so I started to get more comfortable with the idea of being more masculine. And it, transgender started to come into my head, like, I guess I became uh, gender dysphoric. I did not like my boobs even more than before. Um, I would think to myself, breast cancer wouldn't be bad because then I could get my boobs removed. Or I'd want to, like, severely, like, stab them or something so they could be damaged and be removed, you know? Things like that that don't make sense to a normal person, but in my head, so it was logical. And I just hated my body even more. I refused to wear any form-fitting clothes, any clothes that are considered feminine, you know, just dress more masculine. And there are some people in my family that didn't really accept it, but I still did it anyway. Finally, I came out as transgender maybe three, four weeks ago. And that was hard. I didn't get any negative feedback from my immediate circle here in Missouri. Nobody said anything bad about me. They were 100% supportive. Everybody was, ask, was asking, like, do you want to go by he, him pronouns? So everybody's making an effort right now to call me he. So I changed my name on Facebook to Jaden, 
because I like that name, and that's the name I want to be called. I don't want to be called Jazz anymore, but legally I kind of have to right now, but I'm working on it. Yeah, so I didn't get any negative feedback from people here in Missouri that are my friends or my girlfriend, but I was getting a little bit of negative feedback on Facebook. And, you know, some of it was my, f some of my friends from Chicago, and they weren't being, like, negative to hurt me, you know, more so as a joke. But it still kind of hurt, because being transgender is hard enough, and you see what happens to transgender people in public all the time. It hurts. And you don't want that to be you. But it becomes your story, you know what I mean? And, I don't know. A lot of my friends would say they'd still call me Jasmine purposely. Um, a lot of them are misgender me. A lot of people would say it's this girl who thinks she's a boy. But it hurt. But I try to understand where they're coming from. And even though I understand their point of view, I don't think they're right under any circumstances. And I know that this is who I am. And nothing anybody said is going to change me or stop me from going through this process. And on June 7th, I got no surgery. <laughs> June 7th, I finally set an appointment to go do HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. And I was pushing that back as far as I could because I was so afraid. And I'm still afraid. Because I say I'm transgender now, and people can say what they want because they still see female, so it's not that big of a deal. But when people start to see the transition from female to male, I feel like I'm going to get a lot more backlash. And that's why I've been holding off for so long, because I'm afraid. Yeah. So, right, June 7th, I went. I had to have blood drawn to do lab work because they have to make sure you're medically sound and everything is going good in your body and working good so that you can start new hormones because a lot could go wrong if you're not where you should be. So, yeah, I had to have labs done. They told me they would have information by the following week, but I hadn't heard anything back yet. So I called back and I was supposed to get a call today to find out how my life went. But I haven't gotten a call today. So I have not started taking testosterone yet. But I'm praying that it's going to be very soon because this disgusts me. Like, I don't think people understand. Just like I don't know. It's just disgusting. I hate the way I look. I do not look in the mirror unless I'm doing my hair. Like, I'd be more comfortable, even if I was, I can't take testosterone. Even if, let's just say that's a thing. If I couldn't, I would be happier if I didn't have boobs. You know? I feel like my boobs are a big, constant reminder that I'm in the wrong body. Especially since they're so big. I can't wear a binder because you can still see them. So I, don't, I, won't, I don't want to waste money on that just to flatten them and make them look like a flat bulge, you know? I don't like that. Unfortunately. So that's why I'm really pushing for this whole top surgery thing. I have insurance, but I'm not sure if my insurance is going to cover it. I don't think they will. I keep reading through this package of information they gave me and they cover breast removal if you have breast cancer or the breast cancer gene. 
days of which I don't have, I believe. So I don't know. Insurance will cover it. Unfortunately. But yeah. What about this whole transgender thing? I have been thinking about being transgender for the longest time, and it's, it's never registered in my head. It never occurred to me. Like, I never thought, oh, I'm transgender. You know, I thought I was just obsessed with it. You know, I used to watch videos of this transgender uh, male to female named Jazz. She, a lot of you probably know who she is. I watched a lot of her videos, and that was way before college. And she was still, like, a little kid at that time. And I liked it. Like, I liked the idea. That made me happy. And I would always look at uh, transgender, like, phalloplasty and all that other stuff. But it never occurred to me why I was looking into that stuff. Now that I'm older, I have a better grasp of who I am. I did more research. And I understand more. And I realize that a lot of my unhappiness comes from not being who I was meant to be. I'm stuck in a body that disgusts me. And a lot of people don't understand what it feels like. Uh, especially, I, I get calls from family members a lot, like, what is this whole name change thing on Facebook? I want you to change your name back to Jasmine on Facebook. Or people be like, why are you... Why do you want your breasts removed? Like, that's stupid. Don't do it. Please don't do it. And I'm not mad at them because, like, I understand. This is who you, this body is who you've known since I was born. Like, I understand. But at the same time, I want you to understand me. And I also want people to realize what good does my breast do you, you know? Like, why does me having breasts appease you? Well, doesn't my happiness matter? Is what I think. Why? Why would a person who's biologically related to me care about me having breasts? It's just a little food for thought. But yeah. And I am scared for this process, especially since I work in a hospital, and I can't say much, but the HIPAA laws and stuff, I don't want to violate that, you know. I've seen transgender patients, and I've seen my coworkers not react well to them, misgendering them, and calling them by their dead name. I've heard a coworker say something along the lines of, that's just a boy who wants to be a girl. That's just what they are, and refuse to call them by the gender that they prefer for the name. And I'm afraid of that. Because yes, that person, that patient was, uh, yes, that person um, had to deal with that. But they don't know that my coworker was saying these things, and they don't know that my coworker felt that way. I heard these things. I know that my coworker felt this way, and I work there. And nobody at work knows this about me. So when they finally start to see the changes, I'm scared for what's going to happen, or what's going to be said, or what's going to be thought. What's worse than hearing people talk bad about you is thinking and imagining people talk bad about you because it's just so much worse in your head, you know. It's scary. I just, I really want to be who I am. And this thing is holding me back.
good. Here's the way I look. And I know there's a lot of people who get to say all these bad things. And I know, like, I know all the arguments and I know all the religious arguments. And frankly, I don't care. Say what you want. Comment what you want. But just because you're saying these things doesn't mean I'm going to stop pursuing. What I'm pursuing doesn't mean I'm gonna change who I am. None of it. It just means it just means that you are a jerk. So yeah, <laughs> I hope that one day we'll be able to accept transgender people and you know be able to love them but why is it a problem you know like that's my biggest question about all this is why is it a problem for a person to change their physical the way they look physically because in their head that's not who they are you know so why is it a problem to change how they look? Why does it bother anybody? It's not changing who you are. It's not changing the way you think. So, I just don't understand why it's a problem. It's like homosexuality. I don't understand why it's a problem. I think it's because of religion. That's why religion is a problem. Because people think the Bible says homosexuality is a sin. So homosexuality is obviously bad. But if the Bible didn't exist, would homosexuality be condemned? No. The Bible is trash. I believe in God, but not the Bible, you know? Like, I don't know. And even then, that's a complicated subject. <sighs> but the same part of the Bible that says, mm, this, people say, the Bible says it's a sin for man to sleep with man. Okay. The Bible also says, it's a sin to wear clothes of mixed fabrics. The Bible says you also should eat shrimp. But the same people who condemn homosexuality are the same people who wear clothes of mixed fabrics and eat shellfish and shrimp and whatnot. So, I'm busy. I get motion sick really fast. Thanks for watching. Tune in. I'm going to have more videos for you to watch about this whole journey. And my life in general, and some vlogs that you guys are sure could enjoy. Maybe some outfit things too. But like.